this this one way I can start the video off to the public service announcement this fall if you don't have onyx get it instead of trashing up the woods and fl putting flag in every 20 yards unless you're an older gentleman or woman that's not techno technologically astute and even though even then if you do happen to use it just make sure you grab it on your way out anyhow oh yeah let's talk about what i'm doing today well going to another wma here I am uh, working way down in here. It's uh, just before pre-rut. Today, I want to say it's the 17th. It's the 17th of September. So, won't be long. Bucks will start cruising, looking for those. I'm going in here, putting out some of these Moultrie Edge Pro 2s. And, uh, I've got some original edges in here and some original edge pros from the bottom man in here that I'm gonna put fresh rechargeable uh multi uh it's got a lithium battery pack it's rechargeable pretty neat some of y'all that watch my videos already have seen that in the previous the previous episode I shot a bunch of episodes on this deck why? Because it was a good day to do it. I had to get caught up on work. But I really like this area I'm in. Um, just let's get to it. We'll go check on some cameras, put some of these battery packs in, make sure everything's good to go, check food sources in the swamp, and uh, might deploy an extra camera somewhere in here, depending on what sign I see as far as soft mass or hard mass. But this is stuff you guys always do. I like to do it one time leading up to season. And uh, it's pretty beneficial, it kind of tells you, gives you the ability to make an educated guess. as to what uh, the deer are gonna be keying in on when they leave the bed. So, I will say this, water oak crop this year is fantastic. Uh, or all the places I've went to, water oak crop is amazing. And that was not the case last year. Anyhow, check back in with y'all in a little while. First camera, this is a Edge Pro in bottom land. One thing I love about this type of stuff and checking stuff like this, one thing I love about it, another reason why I do it this time of year is most of the time the water levels are down. So you can see the deeper portions of creek systems, river systems, you can see the, the portions that are going to be deeper when the water comes up and you can see those shallow water crossings that are going to be the shallowest point in a riparian zone so something to think about it's always good to just be observant i try to be need to be more observant let's keep walking See that right there? That's a white oak. It's called an overcup oak. And I'm gonna show you. That is the tree. A rather large one too. So I'm gonna mark it. 
is old, but there's plenty of green ones. There's plenty of green ones on the ground. Storm knocked some of it out and there's plenty of water oaks that are on the ground. But specifically, that, that overcup right there, I'll mark it. All right, continue on. All right, here's another really good example. Something I look for in swamps. So you got a tiny little isolated thicket that's right next to this creek. All right, and it ties in the edge of this creek. This right here is huge transition, big time. If the, the food in here is crazy. I mean, there's water oaks in here. Absolutely everywhere. And they ain't even started really falling. Good. Just everywhere you look. Covered in water oaks in here. This spot right here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Spot right here. It's gonna be money pre rut. Absolutely money. And that's why I have a camera watching this little funnel transition. Almost to it. Alright. Not gonna bore y'all with fooling with this camera. It's another Edge Pro. First battery pack. And voila. We're good to go. Alright. Now that that's done. On to the next one. Keep scouting. Check that out. American persimmon. Swamp persimmon. Right there. Tell you what, I'm, I'm just right here in the same, I haven't went far, I'm, I'm right here in the same transition. And I see a bunch of persimmons on the ground. There ain't just one tree right here. There's multiple trees that are dropping. So you got water oaks and you got persimmons right here. And I had some nice bucks come through here last year. Uh, I had one, one deer, he ain't gonna score a ton, but uh, historical data, he's a mature deer. He liked cutting through here early season a bunch last year. So you got water oaks, persimmons, and water. And then you got this little tiny thicket over here. And what more could you want? So definitely probably gonna prioritize that spot. All right, I'm gonna keep working on down. All right, another persimmon. All right. I'm about, what I'm doing is trying to find the hottest food source closest to this bedding area. There's more bedding area. There's one more bedding area on down. Well, I think there's about three tiny thickets. Well, they're maybe five acres a piece. So I'm, I'm basically working down the edge around those thickets safely with the wind in my face. And I'm checking the hot, what's the hottest food source going to be from those thickets. Or between all three of them, what's the hottest one gonna be? And that should narrow down where the big buck's gonna be. So, here's a probably the, one of the biggest persimmons I've found so far. And there's some deer crap. Lots of deer sign around this tree. So there's a rotten one right there. 
there's one. Fell out. Oh, here's another one. So. Oh, yeah. There's a fair amount of persimmons up there. All right. I'll mark this one. Process of elimination. Look for one. Uh, <clears throat> figure out which one's going to be the one. All right. I decided to move. I had this camera way on down. But I decided to put it on that cluster uh, of persimmons that I found earlier. There's a bunch of crap ton of water oaks in here, but that's the most persimmons between this spot and that first transition. That's the most persimmons that I've found in here in some time. All right, it's connecting. Uh, once it connects, I'll keep moving. All right, check this out. Fresh scrape right here. Look at that big old fat persimmon. Right next to a bunch of big old water oaks in here. That's hot right there. Okay. Hot. Right. Putting this camera right here. The persimmon's right there. I think I'm I think I got I think I got it figured out this year. There's another giant persimmon right there. Alright, here we go. Alright, this is the last original Edge Pro. Um, this one, I'm going to take down. It's on a creek crossing. And they are tearing, tearing it up right here, crossing this. Alright, my Lanta. Mm -mm. That's what you like to see. Get this on a tree. All right, that's a wrap for today. I've uh, got plenty of cameras out in this area, and this is really the area that I really am focusing on. Uh, I've had some really nice bucks in here. So I'm trying to put all the pieces of the puzzle together this year. We shall see. The rest is yet to be determined. Appreciate y'all watching. See you on the next one. All the scouting that I've done. Paydays in October. <laughs>